everybody and welcome to Ghost Spirits Legends and Beyond. I'm your host Jessica Russell. I want to first off saying that Gals and Ghost is not over. This is just something that was suggested for me to go off and kind of do my own thing for a little bit. But we're in Magnolia Cemetery in Beaumont, Texas. This is one that me and Kaylee plan to do together one day. And again, I'm not saying that Gals and Ghost is over, but for now, we're gonna hang out in some cemeteries and have a little fun. And I want you to meet my friend, Taylor. This is my friend, Taylor. She's gonna be helping me with the camera stuff today. Hello. Now, I am back to square one with these cameras. I only have the, my, the phone that I'm filming on and this one, but I plan to get more memory cards because that's really the problem. I have a GoPro, I have other cameras, I just don't have memory sticks. So for now, we're gonna hang out in Magnolia Cemetery and look at some, some cool headstones, some old headstones. I'll tell you which one's the oldest when I find out. And we're just gonna hang out and see if we catch anything. We also have our neat little, I do have these. I do at least have something. You do. Yeah. Luckily, so, we didn't come completely unprepared. I have to just say, partially. You, you even have some stuff with you today. Yes, I do. I have this lovely EMF reader and a small recorder that is chargeable. So I didn't come completely unprepared, but I don't have everything I normally have. So today's episode should just be interesting. Uh, I'm going to start right here because this, okay, when me and Kaylee came, we had, uh, this was actually broken mm -hmm. and we could go inside of it. But now that we can't, we're just going to kind of go up to it and... I'm gonna turn, Woo! I'm gonna not fall on my butt for sure. Be a good start. I'm gonna turn, oh, I can't see it. I'm gonna turn my thing on and see if anything happens. I mainly am gonna go to the mausoleums. We'll look at some pretty cool head, uh, headstones too. Can't really tell because it's daylight. Yeah, it's just green. Okay, so nothing right here. It's too bad because I got a really cool picture of Kaylee with orbs around her in this one. Oh, I lied. This door is open. Okay. Um. Oh, it's still broken. It was broken last time too. It open? Yeah, it's open. It was broken last time too. James, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. Mapes, died 1936. Is there anything in here? Nope, not today. Or not according to this. Still a beautiful mausoleum though. It really is. I'm just sad that they haven't gotten around to fixing that yet. But yeah, so far nothing in here. All right, on to the next one. See, that's the thing about some of these. You're not always going to catch stuff. And, that's and I will add some pictures. If I have any pictures that are worth adding, we will see. Oh, okay. This one's weed. This one's tall. I don't know if it's open. The doors look broken. Nope, this one's not open. All we can do is stand here. Well, so far nothing. Although this is a beautiful one too. This is about as far in as I can get. That's a beautiful one. Has one on the opposite side too. Oh, my camera's adjusting. Yep, so far nothing. Oh! Wait, did it? I don't know. I'm gonna say nothing. All right, on to the next one. This one's in some shade, at least. Oh, and it has a, a nice face by it. And another headstone next to it. See if this one's. Nope, this one's. This one's. Checking all the cobwebs on the bed. Yeah, they really should clean that. 
All right, let's see. It's really hard to see this thing in the daylight. I need to ghost box. I need to ghost box. Nope, so far nothing. On to the next one. Oh, these have two pretty vases. That one might have, oh, it did, it did have two. Apparently I'm not paying attention. And this one has nice stairs that kind of lead in, up to it, but at the same time not up to it. All right, two pretty vases. Is that one open? Nope, only the one. I can't say that. Only? Maybe? Maybe. Is yours even on? Yeah. Okay. So far, nothing. Very peaceful cemetery, apparently. I mean, there are plenty of other mausoleums around here, though. I'm not discouraged. Last time I was here, I might have been with Kaylee, but we uh, we caught pictures more than anything. Huh? So that's the end of this little section. Yeah, that's the end of this one. But this cemetery is huge. Yup. Like really, really big. This is probably a two-day kind of... Yeah. If it's say today, I'll probably do all the... Try to do all the mausoleums. Okay. And then... We'll, I'll look at some headstones another day. Whew. All right, back to the car and on to the next mausoleums. It is a pretty cemetery. It really is. We're going to head on over to that mausoleum. There's so many. There's some in the front, too. Mm -hmm. We passed several on the way back this way. I just wanted to come back to the one that was open. Yeah, some of these look like next good storm and they might fall over. Some of these are sunken into the ground. Definitely going to have to look how old this cemetery is. We're gonna try to keep the phones as away from the readers as possible. And if something does spike, I'll put the reader down and then step away from it. Oh, two dragonflies just went by. All right, this one is locked up tight. Again, it's hard to see. Is mine even on? Yes, it's on. Nope, so far nothing. This is honestly turning out to be a very peaceful, beautiful cemetery. All right, I'm gonna be honest. That headstone is leaning, but I can't even say the name. Not the Stevens, the other one. Like, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I cannot pronounce that. The Nazowitz, maybe? <laughs> I'm gonna say, you attempted it. I wasn't even gonna attempt it. I knew I was gonna butcher it. Well, at least I tried. I, I get credit for that, right? Even if I did butcher it? <laughs> With all due respect, yeah, we're not trying to be rude. No disrespect to anybody. Yeah. And so let's venture further down this way. See if there's any mausoleums this way. Because, I mean, there's a lot of headstones for us to look at. Like, this is definitely going to be a, another trip I have to come back. 1868 to 1948. There's another one I can't pronounce. Sternenberg? You want me to remember to know? Yeah, I got it. There's a lot of names I can't pronounce, oh. but I butcher Apple, names. Appleman. Yeah, some of these are very...
Saturday. Let's go hang out in the cemetery. This is a first for me, and I blame you for dragging me along, although I, I volunteered. Yeah, like, what do you want to do Saturday? Oh, let's go hang out in the cemetery. Yeah, I'm that weird one. You did volunteer to drop. <laughs> it's so pretty out here, though. And peaceful. Like, don't get a sinister feeling out here. Not at all. Oh, that's weird. Yates. That's what this was. Yeah, she's a Yates. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry if I'm making y'all sick. Oh, here, you know what? I'll turn you off until it's time to go to the next mausoleum because that would make even me sick. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna cut the camera up back on until we get to the mausoleum, but look at that statue. It is so pretty. Do you see it? It's very nice. Like very nice. Can you pull up a little bit? The, the limbs are in the way. Ah, right there. Yeah, look how pretty. Very detailed. Yes. Alright, now I promise I won't turn the camera back on until we get to the mausoleum. Uh, yeah. See, I promised. I wouldn't turn it back on until we got to more mausoleums. There's two right here. And then there's four more over there and like four more over there. So... But so far, this is a very peaceful cemetery. With very pretty headstones. I took a lot of pictures. Whatever I don't post on YouTube, I will post on Facebook for y'all. Whether they're haunted or not. Alright, let's see if... No, not open, but... Very pretty. I almost fell. Oh, this one's jumping. It goes to like yellow, but only for a second. And I'm trying to keep my phone as far from it as possible. hard to see these in the daylight. Could have just been the sun. Alright, next mausoleum. Very pretty though. Woo! Again, almost busted my butt. Now, again, I just want to stress that Gals and Ghost isn't over. Right now, things are just tough, and my psychiatrist, yes, I have a psychiatrist, leave me alone, um, she suggested that I do something that I love, and this is something that I love, even though it might seem weird to some of you, and I just, I want to stress that Gals and Ghost isn't over. You know, me and me and Kaylee, we're still we're still friends and stuff. And like, I'm, I'm just doing this in my spare time, so to speak. I I love doing this, so I just I want it known that this is this does not mean the end of Gals and Ghosts. Woo! Okay, this is a pretty mausoleum. Look at that very decorated, very pretty. Has like steps and everything. Is it open? No. Nothing so far? No. Nope. Still think it's, it's a good cemetery. There's nothing wrong with the cemetery. It's just peaceful and beautiful. It's very beautiful. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a very beautiful mausoleum and cemetery. I'm saying that me and Kaylee didn't catch anything because most of our stuff happened in pictures, but we haven't actually been out here together again to do an actual episode. And I just wanted to come out here and see if I catch anything. Because again, oh, my hair's doing some weird stuff. <laughs> but uh, this is one of those things where I was told to do something that makes me happy and this makes me happy, so. 1946, you can hardly read it. Edward. 1966, I think, don't quote me. That could be a five. Not really sure, because these are very old and hard to see. 1942, yeah, these very well could be fives instead of sixes. I really think that one's a five. That one's a five. Oh, 1840 to 1927. Wow. Yeah, talk about old ones. It's so hard to see these in the day. Yes, yes it is, but at least when it changes colors, you can easily see it. This is pretty. I don't, you don't usually see them laying down like this. All right, that's these two mausoleums. We've got about eight more that we can go to. Okay, so. Oh, is there? Back there. Oh. There so this is very gated off. I think it's a private cemetery and although there are spaces in the gate that technically we could get through, I don't want to break any laws attempting this. So we're not going to be able to get to these three, four mausoleums. But that's okay because we still have... We need to go to that one. There's one right here, isn't there? Yeah. Is that a mausoleum? Yeah, that looks like a mausoleum. So we still have these and there's more all the way back there. But as for these four, all I can do is take pictures. So sorry guys. <laughs> she, she, she's abandoning me. That says home at last. This one's very pretty. We can get to this one. Very pretty. I don't think it'll be open though. Nope, not open. But very, very pretty. Okay. Oh. I don't think we're gonna catch any activity, but even so, like I'm not disappointed in this episode because it's very pretty out here. These are some very pretty mausoleums, even if there's no ghost. It was werewolf the trip. I think y'all will enjoy it just because of the scenery. Yeah, that's very pretty. All right, on to the next one. So I've decided even if there's no activity, I'll come out here another day and like show y'all some of the very, I've showed y'all some, but I'm gonna spend a whole day dedicated to showing beautiful headstones. Today is really just about the mausoleum. So there's like five in this vicinity. Like, I might even walk to these. But there's this one. I love mausoleums, even if we can't get into them. Yep, yeah, nope. Oh, my camera blurred. Oh, okay. Oh, it jumped for a second, but it could have just been because it was by my phone. Yep, nothing. Uh, except that. I don't know if y'all heard that. There's a statue in there. bunch of noises. I'm just going to say it's acorns from trees, although it's not acorn season right now. Is there someone here? Oh, 
okay, a very pretty one and heard some weird noises. Don't know if y'all heard that, but I'm just gonna respectfully back away. Very beautiful, very nice. Okay, on to the next one. Ooh, several more to go. Oh, these have pretty bowls by them. Okay. Oh, it's getting hot out here. But we still have three over there. And one over there. Nope. Oh, my camera will not focus. So much for this being the better camera. Okay. That's just me because I'm turning it on. There we go. Nothing over here. Although this is a very pretty one. All right. It is hot. Ugh. All right, let's walk to this one. I cannot pronounce names to save my life. So I'm not even gonna attempt it. Although this is a very, very beautiful mausoleum. Everyone's probably thinking, they're made of concrete, Jess. I know, but still. Nope. Aw, very pretty. What does that say? Let's say 1848. No, I don't know. 1948. I can't read it. It's too far. 1849. 1865 to 1849. Or 1940. I don't know. I can't read it. 1949. There we go. I got it. All right. Anything in here? I don't know, I can't see it. All right, still a very pretty one. And I'm pretty sure we still have like three more to go. All right, those are some giant bowls. Very beautiful. I know, I know it's concrete. Like, small as a lens, but like, it's a small one, I think. 1882 to 1920. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I bought, I uh, found one that was like 18 something to 18 something. Really? Yeah. Anybody out here? Are you just resting peacefully? We are not trying to disturb your peace. Just simply asking if you wanted to say anything. Oh, that wind feels nice. All right. Very pretty mausoleum. All right. On to number two. Woo! Huh? I said, woo! It is hot, it is definitely Texas. Texas forgot that it's fall. I love the bushes. That's a nice touch. Everyone's, most people use like pots and stuff, but the bushes are. But this is a nice change, the bushes. 
Oh, this one's big. Oh, they do have stones. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I think the bushes add a nice touch. Yes. Have to agree with you. Oh, very pretty. Um. Too bad we can't get inside because it looks like there's boxes. Interesting. It might be like the family stuff, like. That or it might be ashes. Oh, yeah. Because um, when someone's cremated, the remains are initially put into boxes before being able to be transferred to urn. All right, number three, which again, very pretty. The page way up to it. Yeah. Oh, this one's another pretty one. It has like a, looks like a family crest or something on it. Oh, codwebs. Ew. That means spiders. Yes, it does. I'm not down for spiders. Okay, you're gonna have to get a far off look because uh, I ain't happening. She's she's scared to death of spiders, guys. Yeah, like like extremely scared. Okay, Miss Cockroach. Hey, those <laughs> things fly. Okay. <laughs> spiders bite. Cockroaches don't. I don't care. <laughs> I can step on a spider. I refuse to step on a cockroach because <laughs> not only do they fly, they have that disgusting crunch. <laughs> That just makes my stomach turn. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't like anything that has more than four legs. Or no legs. Snakes. Oof. Gotcha. I'm glad you uh, specified on that. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, y'all get a far off look from that one. Because uh, I ain't going near no spiders. Not today. Not today, huh? Alright, on to the next little one. Alright guys, this is the last mausoleum. And then the next set of footage, I'll come out here on another day and get some more of these exquisite, pretty, different looking headstones. But for now, this, this is the last mausoleum and it's so pretty. I love the cross at the top. It's a small one, but the size of the mausoleum doesn't matter. Oh, it's broken. Oh, someone broke it. That's... Why do people do that? It could have been a storm. Unless it threw a rock, but there's no rocks right here. Yeah. But this is one of those small ones where I think it's just the body and then... Oh, that's my aunt's last name. 1963. 1889 to 1963. But yeah, this one's all busted up. I'm sad that our last one was busted. But it's okay because I'm going to come back out another day and we'll get, get footage of some of these exquisite because this cemetery is humongous. It is so huge. So I'll come back and get some really neat looking headstones and statues and any pictures I take will be posted on Facebook whether they're haunted or not. And uh, that is up for you to decide. Yeah, that's up for you to decide and we'll just... We'll figure out the other day to come back. But for now, I'm gonna shut the camera off and the next time you see me, it'll be another day and we'll be looking at headstones. <laughs>